Four. Well, it is official. Vice President Kamala Harris conceded defeat in the 2024 presidential race this afternoon, securing victory for President-elect Donald Trump. Thank you for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Matt Templeman. A range of emotions are being felt throughout the nation tonight. Our news team caught up with local voters to get a feel for the climate here in Western Oregon. And reporter Jennifer Singh joins us live in the studio. Jennifer, what do people have to say about what the results laid out last night? Well, Matt, certainly a lot. Vice President Harris spoke to Americans today, urging both sides of the aisle to upload a peaceful transfer of power to the incoming Trump administration. Oregon sustaining its spot in the blue wall this year didn't come as a surprise to anyone, but our state does have a large share of Trump supporters. Many of those supporters celebrating today, sharing optimism for America's path ahead. Trump was just rolling forward, rolling steady, what you would expect the president to be, firm and steady. So I think it's great. I think he's going to make some great changes. I think he's going to keep some good stuff in place, and I'm just really excited. Today, many people on the other side sharing their shock and what they call fears, while also emphasizing the importance of mutual support and communal strength as we enter the unknown. I think that we've just continued to streamline down this very extreme way of thinking that just has very that's gone completely unchecked. And so I think that it's just causing a lot of people to be even more scared and to like lead down paths that aren't helpful for anybody. The White House says President Joe Biden spoke with President elect Donald Trump today, congratulating him on his victory and inviting Trump to meet with him at the White House. Biden also plans to address the nation on Thursday. Vice President Kamala Harris spoke with the president elect as well today, congratulating him on his win as well and discussing the importance of being a president for all Americans. And coming up on KEZI 9 News at 5, did local Trump supporters feel confident in his win despite living in a historically blue state or are they feeling just as shocked as many Harris supporters today. Reporting live in the studio, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.